the research, but also through my own personal experience of life, is that often our personality is not who we are, it's who we have to become. So, for example, I, for most of my life, most of my friends and family would say that I'm an intensely competitive, I can't stand to lose, I will win, I will do what I need to do to win, hopefully, I'm only loved, I'm only worthy, when I get full marks, or when I'm a success, right, therefore, of course, being competitive absolutely serves that purpose, because if you're competitive, you're going to keep reinforcing that, yeah, you're going to then succeed, and you're going to get that external validation, which you feel you need, but as I become aware of that, and that's where your awareness piece of comes in, for me, I've become acutely aware that actually, no, I can change that. Actually, that's not fixed for life. And these days, I'm not competitive. I'm, I'm competitive in a different way. It's not because I need to succeed in, because that says who I am, and that's a reflection of who I am. It's because, no, I'm no longer coming from a place of lack. I'm coming from a place of love now where, yeah, I still want to do well, but it's not a reflection of my self-worth. So I've really experienced that you can change. Right, right. Well, then the fundamental thing then is to realize then that there's great science to show that we are not hardwired to be a certain way for the rest of our lives and we're not doomed by our genes that were marvels of adaptability and change. Now, here's the challenge, though. The challenge is that most people wait for crisis or diagnosis before they love. Whatever that experience is, your mind actually predicts it somewhere in the future. And you say, if I work really hard, if I sacrifice a certain number of things, if I save a lot of money, I can go on this vacation or have this experience. And so people wait for the experience to occur. When the experience occurs, the payoff is the emotion and three-dimensional reality. But between the thought of what you want and the experience of having it, between cause and effect, between one point of consciousness, I'm conscious that I'm competitive, and another point of consciousness, can I change that? It's called time. So everything in three-dimensional reality takes time, and we experience separation until the event.